Electromagnetic waves are waves that can travel through the vacuum of space. This is contrasted with mechanical waves, which require a medium for the waves to pass through. For example, sound waves are a mechanical wave that require air or another medium for the waves to be propagated. Electromagnetic or EM waves are created by the vibration of an electric charge. This vibration creates a wave that has both electric and magnetic properties and components. In the vacuum of space, EM waves travel at a speed of 300,000 meters per second. This is commonly identified by the variable C and is the speed of light. When an electromagnetic wave travels through a medium rather than a vacuum, it is propagated by the absorption and re-emission by the atoms of the material or the medium. How this happens is the EM wave hits an atom and the energy from that wave is absorbed by the atom. This causes the electrons in the atom to vibrate. The vibrating electrons then emit a new wave. This new wave travels a short distance inside of the medium until it is absorbed by another atom and the process is repeated. This process of absorption and re-emission slows the movement of electromagnetic waves through a medium. And it explains why EM waves travel at different rates through different materials. The absorption and re-emission of electromagnetic waves as they travel through a medium helps to explain why there is some danger associated with the interactions of high energy EM waves and body tissue. Electromagnetic waves have a very large range of frequencies and wavelengths, and these are known collectively as the EM or the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is subdivided into categories of different types of waves, and that's primarily based on how those waves interact with different types of matter. The different types of electromagnetic waves are radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet light, x-rays, and gamma rays. On one side of the electromagnetic spectrum, we have radio waves which have a very long wavelength and very low frequencies. Radio waves also carry a small amount of energy. On the other end of the spectrum, we have gamma rays, which have a very short wavelength and a very high frequency and high amounts of energy. There are very many uses and applications of electromagnetic waves, and each part of the spectrum is commonly used in different ways and for different purposes. For example, they're used for communication, such as in cell phones or radios. They're used for imaging or observation, such as in x-rays or even in astronomy. And they're also used by our eyes to be able to see.